Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to explain how you can join a scheduled Zoom session by clicking on an invitation link sent to your inbox. For the purposes of this tutorial I'll be focusing on how to join using your PC. In a separate YouTube video I'll explain how you can join it from your mobile phone. The first thing you have to do is to go to the website and download the software. It's called Zoom Cloud Software and this is what it looks like. So you click on the installer and then set up your username and password. It's fairly straightforward. When you go to your inbox, you'll see the Zoom link. And this is the Zoom link over here. It says that the time starts at 12 o'clock Argentina time. So I'm going to check the time in my time zone. So let's just do that now. So I recommend that you go to time zone converter. And I've already done it, done it here, okay? But if you want to type in, okay, the session will be at 12 o'clock in Argentina. It'll be 10 o'clock for me because I'm in Bangkok. But if you want to check the time, if you're in London, you can do this. Click on London and it will tell you the time. So then you can mark that on your calendar so that you don't forget. Okay, so every country will be different. The next thing you do is that you can see this link. You should be able to click on the link. Before I click on it, let me just tell you that you need a headset. You should wear a headset to get good quality sound with a microphone as well to improve the sound quality for everyone in the meeting. Click it on here and you should be able to see this sign come up, open Zoom meetings and it should open. It says you can test your computer audio, so I'll do that now. This is my speaker. Sounds fine. Then I'll click on my mic. I've selected Sennheiser mic, which is my microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, three. You can see these blue, the blue bar moving. So I'm going to tap on it. That means it definitely works. Testing, so testing, now one, two, three. Everything you can works. see these blue, good. The blue so that's bar good moving. news. Now, if the meeting doesn't start straight away, don't panic. It's because it's scheduled to start very soon. It hasn't started yet, so you have to look at the scheduled time on your calendar. So you just have to be patient and wait. Hi, Chris. Can you hear me? Hi, Chris. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Okay. I write in the chat. Hello? Oh, you can't hear me. Right. Okay. So, do you have headset? All right. So, oh, let me see. Good. C can you hear me or can't you hear me? Oh, lovely. So, the problem is that your microphone is muted. And your video, your camera, is off. So please go move your cursor, the mouse, and find your, there is a bar, yes, at the bottom. And you have on the left, did you get it? Hello. Hello please, you, you, you need now, to Lydia? unmute yourself. Oh, right. Hello. Thank you. No. Hello, Chris. I'm great, thank How you. How are you? you? Hear me, Very good. Yeah, right. absolutely. I can see you. Very can you good. see me? How can yeah, I? Yeah, uh, no, I can't. Could you please, could you please uh, turn on your camera next to the yes. microphone oh. icon? Oh, can you see there is a an icon yes, for I the can. camera? Yes, I can. It says start video. Okay. Oh, start video, please. Wait, uh, okay, just give me a second. Then you will, you will, uh, Brilliant, this. Okay, okay, I can see yeah, that on your are. screen. I thank you for sharing your screen. So, as we've mentioned, I'm just going to summarize what we've, the steps that we've gone through in, in connecting to a Zoom meeting. The first thing you have to do, very important, is that you check the time in your time zone. Uh, so, as you can see, I guess it's uh, midday in Argentina, is that correct? 
Yes, and as you can see on the screen, That's it's correct. 10, around about 10 p.m. over here in Bangkok. And you'll have to check the time in your city by typing in the blue bar, right, as you can follow the cursor. So you'll be able to do that. And then mark it in your calendar, as I explained earlier. Uh, Didi, could you move to the next slide, please? Oh, by the way, I recommend timeanddate.com because it's very easy to use. All right. And, of course, it's very important to have good quality sound. As you can notice, myself and the host, or your online teacher, will be wearing a headset. Uh, I have a microphone here, and it minimizes right. background sound. And, of course, it ensures we can hear each other clearly. With no headset, sound will be terrible because you'll be able to pick up you know the babies crying in the background or the dogs barking so this ensures that everybody in the meeting can enjoy the meeting with clear sound right let's move on to I think it's the final Wait. slide and as you saw earlier we saw the options to mute and unmute ourselves that's on the left hand side can you see the green microphone could you point to that Lydia and usually we can mute ourselves yeah. Uh, if it's a very noisy meeting, maybe the host might mute you. Uh, but usually, you can you can mute yourself. Yeah, yes. so we have this yes. one. Crossed. If there's 10 people in a meeting and everybody's breathing heavily, obviously that might affect the sound quality. So it's good practice to learn how to mute and unmute yourself. And then there's the stop video. We're not going to click on it now because we want to see each other. But if you want to share video, usually that's an option. And of course, you've got the icon which is participants. If it's an online class, that will be the names of the students. And if it's a meeting, it will be the names of the people who attend the meeting. So, of course, uh, on the bottom right hand corner, you can see I'm pointing to leave meeting. That will end it. This green icon here, I'm pointing to on my side. I can share my screen, uh, share a PowerPoint, which we're doing now. Okay, so most of these you don't have to worry about. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. So I hope that you found this tutorial very useful. If you found it useful, please don't forget to follow me on YouTube by clicking subscribe. Click on the notification bar to get updates. And if you have any questions or comments, please, please don't hesitate to type them below. And I promise I'll try to reply as quickly as possible.